A new week and renewed proceedings for the New York grand jury hearing testimony about former President Trump's alleged role in playing, paying hush money to a porn star prior to the 2016 presidential election. It's a live look right now at the Manhattan courthouse where the grand jury reconvened today ahead of what could be an historic indictment. Correspondent Kelly Meyer is live for us in New York. Kelly, the grand jury meeting with another witness today. Yeah, that's right, Nicole. Late today, a man appearing to be David Pecker was seen leaving the New York court offices where the grand jury was meeting. Pecker is the former publisher of the National Enquirer and got caught up in this whole alleged hush money scandal for trying to stop adult film star Stormy Daniels from coming forward about the alleged affair with former President Donald Trump just days before the 2016 election. Now, Pecker has met with the grand jury before, so this would be his second time before them, but it's still a waiting game here in New York on a potential indictment. Today, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg arriving at his New York office as the grand jury meets behind closed doors. The 23-member panel reconvening for the first time in a week on the probe as the country watches whether potential charges are brought against former President Donald Trump and his potential role in alleged hush money payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 election. And people see it's bullshit. And they go and they say, it's unfair. Trump blasting the investigation as a witch hunt as he rallied supporters in Texas over the weekend, the official kickoff to his 2024 campaign. House Republicans rushing to the former president's defense, responding to the Manhattan DA in this eight-page letter, demanding the DA turn over documents related to the probe and weighing legislation that would protect current and former presidents from what they call politically motivated prosecutions. Bragg spokesperson responding to the Republican lawmakers saying, quote, this unprecedented inquiry by federal elected officials into an ongoing matter serves only to hinder, disrupt and undermine the legitimate work of our dedicated prosecutors. Trump's allies aren't stopping the push for access and are giving Bragg until Friday to comply. If he doesn't, he could face being subpoenaed. In the meantime, the world watches to see whether the New York grand jury will be called to vote on an indictment. And so many around the world watching this case and this courthouse because of how historic a potential indictment would be uh, charging a former president and presidential candidate the first time they would ever face criminal charges. But Trump believes that these charges, in this case, will be dropped. Nicole? And we will certainly see. All right, Kelly, live in New York. Thank you for that. Up next, the man suspended. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.